Hello YouTube, it is 11.33 on Sunday the 14th of July and it is time for today in my Bujo. So there was no vlog yesterday. Um, there was a different video instead. Um, all I did yesterday was I just filled in a little bit of weather. Okay, that was all I did. Say hi, YouTube. Oh, don't you bum? I do lunch in a minute. Don't press a thing on my chair. No, seriously, don't, because it changes the height of my chair. Um, it's making your floor change. It's making it go up and down. Yes. Go finish watching your film. I'll be in a minute. So, um, I need to. I'm I'm way behind. <laughs> Friday what the fuck did I do on Friday <laughs> this is why I write stuff down because then I I can just go um. <laughs> I like, oh I didn't journal oh no I wrote a note I wrote myself notes so that I didn't have to journal I don't like to journal until I've done both sides of the page of watercolors simply because um, if I go and chuck this much water down right i used quite this got quite wet when i did this page it's gonna lift this ink so instead of this being all nice and clear like this with the color you will have the blue ink seeping up through because the ink would get wet so i tend to make myself notes and then um journal it up the next day and um, because i haven't yet done um painted in yesterday's I haven't yet journaled Fridays but I did write notes I write notes in my um, junk book um, I really wanted to lie in but woke early not a hassle day oh yes I've got new neighbours and it was the tennis Roger versus Rafa in the semi-finals did you watch it it was fucking awesome I know uh, um, Amber didn't but <laughs> I was texting her throughout going, yeah uh, so and so won the first set and Rafa won the second set and, and she was like Roger better win, Roger better win, Roger better fucking win. <laughs> Roger won it, but it's fine. He's facing Novak today, so I guess I'm going to be texting her later. So let's see, I didn't wear makeup. I did do two days of challenges. We did have a drink because I think my son had a stressful day at work. So oh, I don't know why I'm colouring that, that's wrong. So we did have booze, fizzy and caffeine can't remember if I had chips but I accidentally coloured in that there was no chips on that day so I'm not going to colour that in did I craft on Friday yes I did I got my wheel out I actually did some spinning on my spinning wheel which was quite good um I did do the garden and my night care and I'll do a word in a sec yeah I think I actually even posted a photo of my wheel on um Instagram my wheel has a pack cash headband and it is a genuine given to me by pack well not given personally to me um i was watching an invitational match at the royal albert hall they used to do this every year i don't know if they still do i haven't been for several years and i was sat behind and to the right of pat cash uh his chair and during the break where he sat down um he took his headband off and he glanced over his shoulder and he lobbed it to go over the the fence that stops us from stops all us you know women from going ah, it's back cash, and swarming the court <laughs> and he lobs it over this eight I'm foot high oh is it, this is his drawing book everybody so yes he's been coloring in in this um so yeah and he lobbed it over this fence and there was me sat about six to eight foot away and the, the it was stadium type seating so the seats went up like this and then there was a woman sat that five rows up okay and i went i'm gonna get that and i climbed over my poor friend claire right stood on her feet climbed over her and her husband and ran and no word of a lie this woman's hand if this is the, the headband Mom, I need that this woman's hand was there and i went i've got it 
<laughs> no, I, I think I said something along the lines of fuck you, it's mine. <laughs> I turned around and ran away with this pack cat headband. And um, I immediately had to put it in a plastic bag because that sucker was fucking covered in sweat and I brought it home and washed it. I was like, oh yeah, as much as I like pack cash. <laughs> and I brought home and I washed it and it has been on my spinning wheel ever since. And that's probably, Christ, I'd have to ask Claire, but I think we're going back about eight years. <laughs> <laughs> eight, eight, seven or eight years there yeah i think it was the first proper year we'd gone because the first year we planned to go the uk had the big big freeze and we couldn't get there we couldn't get the, the ferries weren't running the roads were snowed up beyond we just couldn't get there. we had to watch it on tv it was awful and i think that was the first actual year we went and i was so excited you know andrew castle was there i saw andrew castle and pat cash and and barami i love barami oh he's fucking great and who else was there um oh um john mcenroe yeah that, no they were all there it's, it was amazing it was really good really good day and yeah i came out of the pack happened. and the really funny thing was i was in the in the ladies afterwards just as we get ready to leave and some woman came up to me and she went well done she said i saw you get it and she was the other side of the arena and she said how close was that other woman and i was like i think her fingers actually touched it and she was like well done she said good on you <laughs> So I was like, yes, fuck off my pack of headband. <laughs> I will fight you for it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I suspect that that woman probably thinks very, very nasty things about me. So my mood Friday, I think it was, it was all right. I think actually I'm going to put it at about a six. I think my pain was actually quite low. So I'm going to put it at. A three. And I'm going to put it at a three for both days because it was it wasn't too bad. Mainly because I've been resting and I've tried not to go out. I did have to leave the house briefly yesterday to go and sort my mum's TV out because it was giving her trouble. So I actually think yesterday was a good day, guys. So yeah. So I'm gonna put that my mood was a seven yesterday. Apart from the news first thing in the morning that um unfortunately Callie's boyfriend, Rob, um his auntie Joe died in the night, which, you know, it's just like Do you know what I mean? It just seems a bit shit. So, it, Rob, if you do watch this, darling, my thoughts are with you. You know that. I texted you guys this morning, you and your mum, um, thinking of you, sweetheart, all right? So, right. So, we need to... Oh, look, I haven't done sleep for ages. I haven't done anything. I didn't touch my journal yesterday. I had a lovely day out in the garden. It was brilliant. But, yeah, as a result, I'm now really, really behind. Um. Okay, so let's wake Fitbit up. Um, we will do... I did very little steps yesterday. I actually ended up doing more than I thought I was going to do, but only because I had to walk down to my mum's house briefly. So on the 12th, I did 12,580. So let's do it. Bang on in the middle. And while I know that one of my goals this year was to get green every single day, green steps every single day, I wasn't banking on this year being as shit as what it has been and that you know i've had to think of me the weird thing is with something like this is that um doing my steps and that is it's something i enjoy doing i really do i, I love my fitbit um i love my fitbit team um i'm very rarely absent from it and if I am, there's a damn good reason for it, um, as Wendy will tell you. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very rarely absent from it. I, I, I enjoy it so much, and you know, I believe that it's doing me good. It's, it's forced me to socialise for a start, which you know, at the moment, I don't want to do. Um, and also, it is. Um, it's good for me, it's healthy for me. But 
and this is where the butt comes in. Um, when you go through something, when you go through a loss or, you know, something so huge, a life-changing event, that's the only way I can think of to describe it. it it's exhausting. I went out a couple of weeks after Stuart died. I went out and did, I did I went out twice, I went out for two weekends on him. And I think part of it was because I just didn't want to focus on what had happened and all of that lot. And I didn't I didn't want to be you know, um I was in denial, I suppose. Which is quite common. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says Roger versus Rafa. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite common. You know, um, denial is one of the stages, isn't it? Grief, they say. But then all of a sudden it sort of hits and you're, you're fucked and you're knackered and everything changes. Everything, my, my, my life has completely changed due to Stuart's death. And processing that is, your whole body has to process that. And I know I'm rambling this, just the, these are thoughts that have sort of come to me over the past couple of days. My whole body is, is dealing with this loss um when my father died my father died of cancer and he'd been in hospital for weeks you know weeks i'd been visiting him daily apart from one weekend where i took the children away camping at a friend's house um and that was the only break we had and that was exhausting you, you don't think it would be but you're going you know you're driving to the hospital and you're sitting there all day and you you don't realize that that is exhausting and it's the mental and emotional um side of it that is actually exhausting and you don't realize what a toll that takes on you and then something like this happens where it's sudden and it's quick and okay you don't have this long lead up but you do have this this processing it happens afterwards if that makes sense. When somebody's ill and, and you know that they're dying, you're exhausted before because you're, you're prepping. And 99% of the time, there's no need for a post-mortem because you know why they died. So you have the death and the funeral happens all within sort of, you know, if you're lucky, a couple of weeks of each other. And then it's done. And you can then start to move on. It, that, it closes that chapter, if you like. When you have a sudden death, like with Stuart, um, we've had the post-mortem and we're still waiting. We're still waiting on results because there was no immediate cause, so it's all gone to, you know, pathology and that. So you... We're still in that waiting pattern, if you like, in, the, in that processing. And while a big section of it has now sort of been closed, the grief is still very, very raw, obviously, and... <sighs> in a way we can't oh, god I don't know where that came from um, in a way we can't move on because we still don't know why and we may never know we, it might just be one of those just, you know we just don't know but it makes life exhausting so I have to consider <clears throat> my physical health in all of this and while Fitbit is great because it's keeping me relatively fit. It's not. I'm stepping at home. I'm not going out walking. And I went out and walked the other day to the next town over, which is a 20 minute walk. I walked there. I stopped. I had something to eat and I walked back again. I got home at one o'clock. I was fucked. Guys, absolutely cream crackered. I came in. I stripped off. I lay on my bed for an hour. I set an alarm and I went to sleep for pig and Daryl up and I've had to do that a few times because I've been so physically exhausted um and I know that it's all tied into the mental hey, emotional talking about sleep's making me tired um I know it's all tied in together 
and it's not like I can just go oh, bollocks I'll just sleep until I feel better because I have a son to look after I have a family to look after um, so it's life has to go on unfortunately as, as, as much as as much as we hate that idea I can't just you know we as the ones left behind can't just curl up in a ball and, and work through our misery in a way that we want done that wrong oh day face cream makeup challenges booze fizzy oh okay that should be chips should be there so yeah so i'm i'm needing to prioritize which sections of my house I look after which is a really weird thing to do you know it's sort of like well I've done that bit um you know why can't I do it as a whole like I normally do and I just I just can't it's just it's not working like that you know I'm tired I'm fucked and I I need to I need to look after that side of things I have been going to bed sort of by midnight at the very latest and um You know, try and get some sleep in. I usually have a, a period in the night where I'm awake. I hope, thankfully, not for very long, you know. But yeah, so I'm having to prioritise which parts of my life I uh, I'm dealing with, or you know which parts of my health are, are more important and at the moment until I've got rid of this fucking cough in this cold which has been here for well since, since <laughs> about the time Stuart died um, I have to take that that is the most important thing I have to rest and recuperate before I can um, get on rambling I know I'm rambling sorry this is how my brain works I ramble I have conv whole conversations with myself like this you know that's how my logic works I argue with myself and it works really well <laughs> nine times out of ten until I start calling myself names and then I'm um, then I have to step away okay right let's um let's right so we did twelve thousand five hundred and eighty which was 5.31 miles and then yesterday i did five thousand three hundred and seven which was 2.25 so that was good right i haven't done the weather I've just realised that because I've just put the stencil away. So I am going to jump back here <coughs> and do today's weather. It's thankfully quite a nice day. The men's final is on at Wimbledon today. I look like I've just woke up. Sorry about the mess. So I'm going to need my stencil out. Do you dare tell me it's overcast? It's not overcast. Fuck off, is it? There is sun, sun out there, so it cannot be completely overcast. But I can see blue skies. <laughs> you lie like a cheap Chinese watch. So, okay. Fucking hell, it says it's going to be rain later. Shit. Holy cow. Right, okay. I'm going to... I'm going to do what it is now. And if it rains, I will add in some raindrops later. But it's quite nice. And I really hope it doesn't... Oh, though, you know, Wimbledon now has a roof, doesn't it? Which is a fantastic idea. You know, I just think it's a, it's a brilliant thing, the roof at Wimbledon. Or should I say roofs? Because Court One has it now as well, doesn't it? I mean, what a fucking 
feat of engineering that is. Didn't the um, I think the one at, um, the one on court one had like a uh, grand opening, <laughs> and um, they promptly had to close it again because it was raining. <laughs> Well, at least we know it opens and closes, yeah. <laughs> but, oh. Right. Let's put that over there. So, it is 21 degrees over 11. Uh, right, let's get rid of that bit. The sun came up at 7 minutes past 5. I still haven't had a barbecue. Guys, I haven't had a fucking barbecue this year yet. We did get the paddling pool out though yesterday. That was good fun. We had the paddling pool out for a little bit so I could get out in my garden and plant my flowers. And I did. And I had a really, really nice day. I did fuck all the way housework. Um, I think I did some laundry. And that was about it. I need to go and get some loo cleaner because I've run out. And um, yeah, no, I didn't do any of that. I didn't even put a dishwasher on. I'll do that in a minute. So yeah, I'm really slacking. I know flowers because I planted some yesterday and very nice it looked too <coughs> you can go away now so yeah I don't have anything to um, I started um, the work week hustles and the scores um, I need to get on done all of that I think now I haven't tidied my desk and that's not gonna happen anytime soon okay so I need to color in yesterday's 13 my new neighbors moved in yesterday well no they moved in Friday Friday night and um, I saw them yesterday I went around the shop There's a man called James and his auntie and uncle were there and he introduced me to them. I don't know whether they live there as well I would imagine so because it's a bloody great big house for a guy on his own it's not for that one it's what what's not for that one that one is for that angle okay well, I'm um, for my yeah I mean he's probably I'd say he's about my age he might be a bit younger um and he didn't sort of say, oh, you know, my, my wife's shopping or my partner's shopping or whatever. Didn't mention children. It's a family home, though. It just seems, I always find it a bit weird when I see, it's like the last neighbours that were there. It was a, a young woman and her sister um, that bought it. And it just, I always find that slightly weird. Why would you buy a fucking great big family home when you're there on your own, you know? I mean, she moved in with her sister, who proved to be a bit of a party animal and a pain in the ass. And the sister moved out and um it all quieted down after that which is quite nice right swap into today's pen and uh, yeah i thought oh, i've just got her trained and now she's fucking moving out and then there's this bloke living there who says he's you know quiet so you know but he has said if if we're not come bang on the door so i'm sort of like thank god you know so i'm waiting to sort of see and he says he works you know eight miles away so he won't be there most of the time during the week so i'm sort of like yeah. you know so it's over that i don't make up but i am about to do the challenges okay let's let's do a card okay i'm gonna do the everyday enchantment tarot please be that pen yes i picked the right pen right what's the date it's the 14th I just have to make an April book soon, don't I? Okay, right. Uh, I just thought my cart seems miles away. It's because I moved it yesterday and it's like a lot further away than it should be. Because I did um, the video that I did yesterday was um, unboxing of my DMs and I wanted some room. I bought some DMs online and uh, I bought them and they came and they're too tight. Uh, not in the length but in the height of them where the tongue is stitched into the boot it is chronically tight and I'm like dude I know I have big feet but I I would expect 
uh, why I'd expect it to be higher from the sole to the top of the shoe and it's not and I was quite pissed off actually let's check I've got this out the right way um, yeah I was quite pissed off actually that they weren't very high and I went and checked and you know Dr Martins don't do any other fitting than standard they don't do a wide or you know anything for people who might have you know ankle problems or anything like that it's just really one size and that's it so I'm a bit I'm a bit annoyed about that um Callie did offer to break them in and but she'd only tried on the one shoe which you guys will see if you go and watch that video and then she tried on the one that I tried on and even she said that was tight and I was just like you know what I'm not risking her coming back in a month after wearing them and saying actually mum these are killing me and I've because I've then lost um oh well that's a bit yeah I've then lost 80 quid so yeah well that's uh typical <laughs> um cups are linked to water water is linked to emotions ace is usually a pay attention card um it, it's trying to it's the strongest one of the pack if you like um they all look very happy don't they um they're all slightly different if you've noticed um we have a young person of colour, we've got what looks like a young Asian person, a white person, you know. Um, I would say girls because they are wearing full body swimsuits, okay, I'm just, we're going with that. Um, but you know, there could be guys there in vesty type tops in the background. Um, there's a bustling city but it's in the background there, yeah, and there's quite a bit of water between them and the city they've come together despite their differences um they're supporting each other they're a team look at them they're all hugging they're all happy um they've won because they've got the trophy um or she won but they're all happy for her i would like to assume this is a team type thing um the message i'm taking from this card today it's perfectly okay to lean on others um, it's perfectly okay to not be on your own which is something that I tend to want to do at the moment I don't really want to be around people um, it doesn't matter who it is I just I just don't really want to be around people my, my family are okay but even then I'm a bit like you know um, we need other people from time to time is what that is telling me okay so I am going to write in Pew. I've put it's okay to need other people from time to time. It makes us stronger. And it does. It really does. Um, some people are naturally quite hermity and I'm one of them, believe it or not. Um, Stuart was as well, which was probably why we got on so well. You know, um, it wasn't offensive for one of us to say, you know, I don't want to see you today it was nothing that was taken as as an offense um so yeah i went to bed a little bit later last night i got distracted doing something i can't remember what it was now um it was quite a good night so let's boost me back up a little bit being on your own is all well and good but sometimes We need other people. I suppose it's a question of there's no point in doing it on your own if you don't have to. I have been informed by Darren it's lunchtime. He's right, it's midday. So I'll have to go on the road in a minute and buy some lunch. Okay, um, this morning I haven't done anything. Is it finished? You know, Is it finished? Um, you could probably squeeze in one more before the tennis starts. No. But there will be tennis today. So I need to finish up doing the scores for the Fitbit team and I need to sync my planners. Um, I know that there's not an awful lot to sync because I haven't put anything else in really. I also need to set up next week. So I'm going to write that in here. Don't touch. Go on, off you go. Set up 
week 29. God, I can't believe that. That means we're only 20 more weeks away from the end of the year. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, there we go. It's set up week 29 and jump through to today. Okay. Give me two minutes to just stick another film on for him and I will be back. I'm going to have chocolate. This is really nice. It is. Orange flavoured chocolate with almond caramel pieces and digestive biscuit. Very more. And I'm drunk on my tea. Right. So. Mmm. <laughs> I'm one of those people that I usually catch chocolate in there. Um, you'll be amazed at how much mess a tiny, 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 fucking insignificant, barely be able to be seen piece of chocolate will make. It will. It will make a hell of a fucking mess if it goes down your bra. Okay. Let's colour in the 14. The way I'm going to try and do these from now on, which has worked so far, is that I'm going to um, just do the art in the morning if I can. And then um, whatever I don't cover today will be covered tomorrow which seems to work reasonably well because it's stopping me from getting too tired and once I hit exhaustion I don't really want to um, come in here and, and do the evening edition and then spend all the time editing it whereas if I finish this now <coughs> I'll have this done by 1 p.m. I can go off spend the afternoon annoying Daryl by watching the tennis <laughs> um, you know whatever I do tea and then once Daryl's gone to bed I can edit it and that'll only take me about an hour or so you know to edit and um, that's it and then I can upload it and it'll all be done by about eight o'clock which means that when I'm ready to go to sleep I can so, anyway, I'm going to get on this and then I'll be back in a minute. Um, I've only seen the Harry Potter films once um, I prefer the books so this is kind of a bit of a mix of an image that I found online and my take on it so yeah it's not the same colour green and, and yeah it just that's how it came out the eyes are actually weeping into the rest of the paper but there you go who gives a fuck it's supposed to be smoking right 
Woodstock or bust, I was thinking maybe of someone holding up a, a road sign. You know, take me to Woodstock. Fingers. <laughs> That's supposed to be a marijuana leaf. And the Deathly Hallows. And then we've got Sandcastle and Pier as the writing. So there you go. I can now get on a journal once this is all dry. Um, it nearly picked up the ink off of here. It was just starting to show when I realised and stuck me a bit of paper there. So, yeah. I didn't show you that, today. Spider-Man came to see me yesterday. He found his Spider-Man suit and he was running around. Well, he was jumping off of my sofa being Spider-Man and I said, come on, let's take a photo. So, yeah. It's just a picture of, picture of me and Spider-Man. Are you jealous that you don't have a Spider-Man? I have a Spider-Man. He's watching Batman in the other room at the moment. <laughs> so, there we go. That's it for today. Um... I'm going to close this down and I'll come back and edit it later and get it up tonight for you all. And I will be back in tomorrow's edition. But in the meantime, you know the rules. Come on, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, I want to interact with you guys, okay? Um, I love all the comments that you guys leave me um, to show that I have read them, okay? Um, and I really do appreciate that everybody leaves me comments. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so, so much. Um, click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, that appears underneath after you subscribe you should be notified youtube willing when i upload new content thank you all so so much i really do appreciate it um i appreciate you joining me on a daily basis hopefully it'll pick up a little bit and we'll get a bit back to normal now i apologize for rambling earlier on but it's just this was my thought process and i thought i would share it all with you <laughs> so there you go um take these guys um i'm off to watch wimbledon men's finals uh, Roger versus Novak should be quite good. Leave me your thoughts down below because this isn't going to go up until afterwards, so I don't care what you say. Um, and I'll let you know tomorrow whether I enjoyed it or not. Uh, that's it for now, and I will see you in Monday's edition of Today in My Video. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>